All right, I want to start off this channel by saying that the point is not to demonize those who enjoy this content. Um, it's also not to make baseless accusations. Uh, the point of this channel is purely to dive into the darker side of media. Throughout this series, I'll be taking a look at the movies on tiers 1 through 8 of the disturbing movie Iceberg. Along the way, as well as after that series, I will be talking about other disturbing media. For those who are worried, I will be watching the movies before discussing them. Each review will follow the same basic format. First, I'll discuss the plot of the movie. Second, I'll discuss the background of the movie. This will include anything from interviews with the director and actors, controversies, the film's receptions, and any changes made to the movie prior to its release. Uh, for example, if a movie was edited for content in order to be released, such as with a Serbian film. Third, I will give my thoughts on the film. Uh, this is going to include me analyzing the film, including the acting, cinematography, etc., uh, to give my thoughts on the quality of the movie. And finally, I'll discuss some of the most disturbing scenes in the movies and give it a rating out of 10 based on how disturbing it is, how gross it is, and how good it is. Once I start discussing mixtapes, I'll likely change my criteria and or remove the part discussing and analyzing the movie's theatric value. Um, as a disclaimer, I'm not going to be talking about the M.D. Pope movies or Snuff R73. The most disturbed person on planet Earth, also referred to as M.D. Pope, is a series of mixtapes uh, which includes death footage, scat porn, and other various clips taken from the internet. The point is to shock. The creator of M.D. Pope is named Thomas Cinemagor. This man claims to be the most disturbed person on planet Earth, hence the title of his mixtapes. The content of these mixtapes is not why I refuse to discuss them. Rather, it's the content that was once included in these mixtapes and their trailers. The original copy of M.D. Pope 2 allegedly had the film's Daisy's Destruction in it. For those unaware, Daisy's Destruction is a hurtcore child pornography film. After being encouraged by many to remove the disgraceful piece of media, Cinemagore obliged, but only partially. Instead, he chose to leave an audio clip, wherein a child is being burned in the trailer. Not only that, but Cinemagore later defended this decision. Additionally, it is heavily implied that Cinemagore himself is involved in hurtcore communities. I have no problem with saying fuck you to the censors, but there has to be a line. And for me and many others in the Mondo Gore community, that line comes when someone defends, glamorizes, and showcases the murder and rape of children and babies. Cinemagore crossed that line and has defended his decision. He's a garbage person and is widely disliked in the Mondo Gore community. Because of his lack of morals and support of child pornography, I will not be discussing MB Pope's 1 through 3 or any future releases of his. There's a few reasons that I won't be discussing Snuff R73, but first I want to clear up a few things. Even within the Mondo Gore community, there's a rather big debate about what Snuff R73 is. Some believe that the film is real and that it involves child pornography. Some believe that it's a ripoff of MD Pope. Others believe that this is a 10-minute video with the subtitle Necropedophiliac. If you were to talk to Thomas Cinemagore, he would tell you that Snuff R73 is merely a ripoff of M.D. Pope. Sadly, many of his fans have taken this and ran with it. This is not the case. Snuff R73 is not an M.D. Pope ripoff. In fact, it's not even a mixtape. Additionally, rumors about Snuff R73 containing child pornography and or her core content are false. The truth is, Snuff R73 is a 10-minute video with the subtitle Necropedophiliac that features dead children throughout the first eight minutes, and the last two minutes contains a scene of a child being brutally attacked and murdered. The subtitle of the film, Necropedophiliac, heavily implies that the point of the movie is to arouse those in the hurtcore community. As of now, we don't currently know the whereabouts of the people who made it, but because of the content, and the implications of the film, I refuse to review it. Throughout the series, there will be some common words and phrases brought up. I will generally try to define the more niche words in the appropriate video, however, to save some time, I'll quickly define what a mixtape is and its purpose, as well as give a couple examples. 
A mixtape is a genre of film within the Mondo community uh, that is a collection of clips spliced together. These clips can have a general focus such as injury, weird porn, or death. Uh, sometimes, however, the mixtape will have no specific theme and will just include everything from weird or gross porn to death. Examples of this are fetus munchers and porn gore. The iceberg that will be discussed on this channel is the disturbing movie Iceberg. It features eight tiers of different disturbing movies. Tier 1 contains popular horror movies that most people have seen. These include Friday the 13th, Child's Play, Scream, Insidious, The Conjuring, Annabelle, The Grudge, The Ring, and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Tier 2 contains more disturbing and lesser known horror movies for more seasoned horror viewers. These movies, commonly referred to as grindhouse films, will typically contain more extreme violence and themes including torture and rape. The movies on this tier are The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Hills Have Eyes, Saw, House of a Thousand Corpses, Hostel, Tusk, The Human Centipede, and Midsummer. Tier 3 is the final layer of horror movies that are somewhat known amongst the general public. These films are commonly referred to as exploitation films. This tier includes Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom, Martyrs, Shoju Tsubaki, Pink Flamingos, a Serbian film, The Human Centipede 2, Cannibal Holocaust, Suicide Club, Tetsuo the Iron Man, and The House That Jack Built. Tier 4 contains more extremist horror that will be seen throughout the rest of the list. These include Slow Torture Peep Chamber, Life and Death of a Porno Gang, Snuff 102, Slaughtered Vomit Dolls, August Underground, Guinea Pig, Necromantic, Viva La Muerta, Melancholy Durangel, Where the Dead Go to Die, Juvenile Crime, Philosophy of a Knife, and Regurgitated Sacrifice. Tier 5 is similar to Tier 4 in that it's largely fake snuff, however, much of the movies in Tier 5 have graphic sex scenes and will frequently include rape. Included on this tier are Women's Flesh, My Red Guts, Oster Montag, Girl Hell 1999, My Chan's Daily Life, The Movie, Eccentric Psycho Cinema, or Bottled Vulva, Tumbling Doll of Flesh, The Necrophiles, The Gateway Meat, and The Taming of Rebecca. Tier 6 is Shockumentaries. These are Traces of Death, Faces of Death, Mondo Kane, Junk Films, Africa Adio, Buried in the Sand, Orozco the Embalmer, Death File Red, Banned from Television, Archivo uh, de Mort Saga, The Dark Side of Porn, and Black Metal Veins. Tier 7 is porn films focusing on more extreme fetishes. These films include UNKB 02, Guso Milk 1 through 4, Death to Kafar, Channel 309, Squirm Fest, Kuso Limitless, Vomit Enema Ecstasy 1 and 2, The KT Trilogy, The Motel Files and Other Random Cuts, Genki Genki 18, 19, and 21, Sadie Scream Volumes 1 through 5, and No Vaseline, The Great Porn Swindle. Tier 8, the final tier, consists entirely of mixtapes. Included in this tier is Emosuo Sexias uh, Deum Cavallo, Fetus Munchers Volume 1 and 2, Snuff R73, Registros Fetias 3, Fubar, Most Disturbed Person on Planet Earth 1 through 3, Ogresh Collection, and Porn Gore Volume 1 and 2. I won't be going in order from Tier 1 to Tier 8. I'll start by reviewing movies randomly. Um, I'll also make playlists for each tier in the playlist tab, and I'll make a grand playlist that will include every video from uh, tier one to tier eight. And I'll continually update it, that way you can watch them in order. I want to provide a content disclaimer for the entire channel. Before each video, I'll put a disclaimer that details the sensitive subjects I will discuss. However, I feel that providing one for the whole channel will help viewers decide if they want to continue. Throughout the first five tiers of the iceberg, uh, there will include discussions of rape, murder, suicide, and self-harm, child porn, incest, necrophilia, addiction, and torture. Tier six through eight will largely have the same discussions. However, everything involved in this tier is real. 
there will be discussions of real death, torture, rape, addiction, suicide, and self-harm. Additionally, some videos will focus uh, on more extreme sides of the BDSM community in depth. This can include CNC, or consensual non-consent, scat, cutting, and other aberrant sexual acts. Finally, I'll be viewing and discussing the unrated and uncut versions of these movies, or the most complete version that I can find if the unrated or uncut is not available. Additionally, for any of the movies that have a remake, I will largely be discussing the original unless explicitly stated.